Alright guys, I've come to tell you that we have avoided a code red situation. I repeat, we have avoided a code red situation because the dog is alive. Lloyd did not shoot him at the end of the episode. <laughs> I actually forgot that from the manga, to be honest, if he did kill the dog or not. I didn't think he would, but at the same time, you know, I don't really know if he's just gonna just boom, huh? you're out the way now, you know? <laughs> but welcome back to the channel today, guys, as we get our day, our weekly dose of just wholesomeness as we go over Spy X Family Part 2, Episode 3 today. And we got a new member of the family today, and it was great. It's just great. Just solidifying the fact that I think Spy X Family is probably anime of the year. I actually legitimately do, guys. And here's my reasoning for it real quick. Because what other series this year have you seen been as popular as Spy X Family? You could say Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, all these kind of shows. But I don't think they have. I don't think they've been as hype, as hyped up, and as marketed as much as Spy X Family. Hell, even Chainsaw Man, whose hype is through the roof, I still don't think would beat out Spy X Family. When it just comes to what anime personified 2022, it definitely goes to Spy X Family. But enough talking about that. Let's get straight into the episode today. Talk about Spy X Family, Part 2, Episode 3. So as I stated before, our episode begins with Lloyd potentially about to shoot the dog. But instead of doing that, he actually shoots the bomb off of the dog. And lets the dog bite his arm. As he throws the bomb behind him. And the terrorist is like, oh, this is my chance. I gotta blow this SOB up right now. So he does. But he doesn't blow up Lloyd. Now, Lloyd uses this moment of confusion to incapacitate the dog, actually. And they really didn't have to go this hard on this shot of Lloyd. Standing here in the mist and we just see his eyes. But they really didn't have to go that hard on it. But they really are making Lloyd look like a badass, man. I kind of love it. The terrorist is literally like, yo, who the hell is that? And he dips out as Lloyd says, your plan's finished. You're not getting away from us. Now we transition to Yor, who's still looking for Anya. Yor just can't catch a break in this little arc we have. As she sees the terrorist actually driving away below her on the bridge she's on. And like any sane mom would do, she jumps off and kicks the car. Because why not, you know? Badass moms who are assassins just can kick cars away. <laughs> As Yor literally calls the cops and says... Police? Yes, it's me again. Uh, I, I, I subsequently found the other terrorist. I don't know, pure coincidence, but he's incapacitated. Can you come get him? No, I'm, ju I'm just a normal housewife that called you before. Don't mind me. Bye. <laughs> and it's here we transition to Lloyd getting a debriefing on the mission from Handler. And Handler says that we're going to keep the dogs here in this shop for right now until we can find a more concrete solution to deal with them. And at this point, Lloyd's like, oh, damn, I've kind of been gone from my family for well, 16 hours or something. I should go find them right now. And it's here as Lloyd's leaving, they actually all convene together at one point, And they start telling Lloyd about everything that happened. And it's here after hearing the explanation that Lloyd actually starts chewing on you out right here. Like, yo, how many times have I told you not to run off on your own? And I'm sitting here like, Lloyd, she saved your life, my guy. Obviously, you don't know about, nah, we gotta cut on you some slack right here. The family could have been ruined. Now, Lloyd asks her if she's hurt or anything, and she says no, because Mr. Dog here protected me. And Lloyd starts realizing that this dog must be another one of the test subjects from Project Apple. I can't really let him loan roam free we have to keep an eye on him as lloyd pats his head and thanks him for saving his daughter and you gotta have a heart made of ice not to just smile like crazy seeing bond look how adorable bond looks right here man ah oh, they killed it i'm so happy that bond's so happy <laughs> And it's here that Handler takes the opportunity to pose as a state security officer and say that we've been investigating today's incident. She uses this as a ruse to try to take Bond away because he is still dangerous after all. He's a test subject, basically. And Anya says, no, I want this dog. This dog saved my life. Now, Lloyd's trying to argue with her so she doesn't want to keep Bond, but she's like, nah, if I don't... 
If you don't let me have Mr. Dog, I'll go bad and stop going to school. And even Handler freaks out with Lloyd like, oh shit, no, not the mission. Anything, don't ruin the mission. Anya actually starts crying in this situation, but Handler being the secret softy that she is, finally says, all right, fine. Saying how I highly doubt one of these dogs going missing is going to be a problem. The terrorists have been arrested and the dog didn't cause any harm. <laughs> Lloyd's literally just like, yo, Handler, you for real right now? She's like, he'll be under your supervision. Keep an eye on him. Anya asks her that there were a lot of other dogs there. The police going to be mean to them. And this episode really just solidified the fact that Handler really is one of my favorite characters, man. As she says to Anya that don't you worry about it. The dogs will be taken care of. We're going to give them soft beds and warm meals. As she tells her that I'm sure these dogs have had really tough lives. And they animated this scene so well because you can really actually see like the baggage that she carries on her face. It's kind of it's kind of really cool actually. It's it just shows you that Handler's really been through some shit, man. She really has. As Handler tells Lloyd that she's a good girl, I also had, keyword had, a daughter her age. As we just get this fantastic shot of Anya and Bond, as Handler says, thankfully today ended peacefully. And their walk home is actually hilarious because they all have different perspectives of how the day went. Yor is literally sitting there like, yo, today I defeated the bad guys and protected the peace. Anya's like, Papa was able to stop the bomb because of me. I saved the world. And Lloyd's just standing there like, bro, I'm tired. They ran me ragged today. We protected the peace for the East and West to an extent, but I really got to go to the bathroom now. I just find the different perspectives pretty funny. And it's here we transition to Bond being brought to the house as we get our new inclusion to the family. And this scene is actually so much more emotional than you would think it would be. Because we see Bond's flashback, actually, and all the horrible things that have happened to him. And it really pulls on your heartstrings, man. Like, Bond's been through a lot. Who would have thought that the close-up shots they do on Bond's eyes would be so emotional? I'm watching the episode, and I'm like, damn, you really made me feel this bad for the dog, for Bond, man. Ah, they did it really well. Bond literally looks like he's overwhelmed with emotion right now, that he finally has a happy life as Anya runs up and embraces him. And it's adorable, man. Like I said, you gotta have like a heart made of ice not to just beam up from this. It's so, it's so nice. Now the rest of our episode is figured... The rest of our episode is figuring out what to call our new family member as they take him to the dog park, actually, to walk around and get some exercise. As we see that Anya's having a pretty rough time trying to figure out a name for Bond. As we see Lloyd and Yor watching over her, and Lloyd is, or Yor is super happy that Anya's having so much fun. But Lloyd is a bit more serious in this situation, as he says to himself that, be prepared to take care of him until the end. I certainly don't have any right to say those words. As Lloyd actually has to remind himself that once this mission is over, there will be no more use for the Forgers. My relationship with these two ends there. Of course, I'll do my best to follow up with them, but this terrorist incident has reminded me yet again that this peace between the East and West is nothing more than a facade. I must ensure that this Cold War ends as soon as possible. And this is a pretty heavy scene, actually, in our episode. I have to admit that. But every once in a while, I, I really liked it. The show reminds us that it's not just a complete slice of life. We do have a story here. We're trying to stop a world war here. And these little scenes with Lloyd are actually very meaningful, I think. As he has to kind of come to terms with the fact that, yeah, he, he kind of really likes them now. He really cares about them now but he's gonna have to say goodbye to them at the end of this and they're kind of sad when you think about it as lloyd just switches back into dad mode but we have a crisis situation guys i dare say it might be a code yellow anya lost her gloves this is a travesty and bond being the absolute best boy that he is sees that another dog has the gloves in his mouth now this dog has the nerve to try to intimidate anya Bond sees this and he just gives him a look like, you better put those gloves down now. And this dog, 
this dog he's like hey hey i'm not trying to start nothing man uh, don't 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 hurt me i'm good here you can have them this dog is quite literally shook and as bond gives the gloves back to her anya starts realizing that wait a minute you're just like bond man you got these back for me and he's got little gloves on too. I know exactly what to call him now. As we transition back to the house, he gets his little bow tie and she says, Mr. Dog's name is Bond. And I'm so happy I can actually talk about the name now. I was trying so hard not to spoil you guys, even though it's just a name, it's a literal name. I guess it doesn't matter. But I didn't want to spoil you guys because the way he gets the name is kind of adorable. And look at his bow tie, man. Look at this dapper SOB. <laughs> and they start doing everything together they're watching cartoons and all that as yor calls lloyd over to come see something and we see that they're just the best friends ever as anya's just sleeping on him and we get the most adorable shot ever as our episode ends today and what a great just what a great episode I'm so happy. They did Bond so much justice in this. Bond's such a great character for the show. He adds a, a really nice layer that just makes the family dynamic even better. And God, I, I love this series, man. I really do think it's anime of the year, to be honest. I really do, if you want my honest opinion. Other shows are definitely hyper, but this show is just something special. But you guys let me know what you think of it down below, you know. I love doing these laid back, more relaxed, cheerful videos every once in a while too. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day, week, month, and year. And until then, deuces, have a blessed day, and go get you a doggo like Bond, man. Best dog. Go get you a best boy dog. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.